What is going on guys? So we have a little special install video today. I don't know from the title you guys can already probably tell what it is, but I actually went ahead and got a short shifter from LC Engineering. They are from Arizona. Um, <clears throat> so they're pretty close to uh, Las Vegas. So I actually went ahead and got one um, right here. I'm gonna unbox it for you guys. I am going to a um, little event tonight for my company, Shred Skate Laces. I'll put them right here so you guys can go check out the Instagram. By the way, guys, we are going to have a um, December Christmas launch for the website. I've got it all under construction right now, but it's going to be happening soon. And all of my black and white laces will be on sale. I actually am going to be showing you guys um, it's not a sneak peek, but I do have another colorway coming just for Christmas. It's only going to be for Christmas, and there's only going to be a limited supply. So about, I think I'm going to do about 10 to 15, maybe 20 laces um, of this particular um, of this particular colorway, and it's only going to be for Christmas. So I'm going to let you guys uh, hang on to right there. Sorry if it's a cliffhanger, but let's go ahead and unbox this real quick. All right. So it does come in a nice, pretty package. It has a bracket and it has all the um, hardware you do need. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take this package out and cut it. I think it's supposed to um, make the travel uh, way shorter and we have our cup and we have our bushing right here as well as, so this is where the um, cup will go and then we do have some Loctite, so I bet I, I'm pretty sure we have to Loctite these bolts down as well as the Allen wrenches. So I'm really hoping I have something that's going to fit that. We should in this toolbox. So uh, thank you, LC. I appreciate that for you guys sending me this out. I'm not sponsoring anything like that, but I definitely wanted to put something on the car that's going to help it. So let's go ahead inside and take everything off the shifter right now and then go ahead and install this. All right guys, so we're inside the car. This is actually really easy to uninstall. All we gotta do first off is take off this knob. All right. And we gotta take off this knob as well. This is the four wheel drive module for this. And then it does have four screws on one, two, three, and four. I'm gonna go in and do a close up so you guys can see. So we have one screw right here, another screw right there, and then on the opposite sides as well. There's not that many products for the 94 or second gen 4Runner. There's very limited to market uh, applications for it, especially this, I would say this um, transmission is probably one of the most uh, sought after because it's a five-speed manual and um, the application is pretty much universal to uh, the Toyota pickups as well as the 4Runners. The transmission actually is um, a 3.0 transmission because this is a 3.0 or 3.0 slow as some people say. Shout out to the Overland crew, Overland Nomad, 3.0 slow gang, shout out to them. I don't have any affiliation with them, but I think what they're doing over there is super cool. So now that we got all four of them off, I'm going to continue to take this off as well. And I'm going to go ahead and probably not clean this, but when I take it off, I'm going to dust it off a little bit. And there we go. It is off. Alright, so let's go ahead and take these bolts out. So now that this thing is off, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. Also, I have really random wires going everywhere. I need to figure out what's going on with the wiring in my car because obviously I got this off secondhand and used, so I didn't know what the previous owner did with the wiring, but I have to figure that out. So we're gonna go ahead and take this whole thing off. It's actually connected to the shift knob, so you have to take it completely off. I actually, oh geez, do you see that cough?
I actually have done that this already when I was actually putting the transmission in my car so um, or installing it so it's mine is pretty easy to take off all right so now that it's taken off mine's four-wheel drive so we have our four-wheel drive shifter here and then we have our actual shifter here so what we got to do I went and looked at LC and how they did it so we're pretty much gonna do what they did so we're gonna take this boot off there we go so it has it does have a lip so you can push this up a little bit and then all we gotta do is push this retaining clip down and move it to the right a little bit I believe all right so that should make it a lot easier there we go uh, job is only as easy as the tools you use so I'm gonna actually bring this whole assembly up and out should just go straight out there we go and I'll show you guys what um, everything looks like before I take everything out so you can kind of gauge what how everything how everything is uh, assembled or not assembled but every how everything is laid out all right so I do have a longer wrench and this is gonna be a 3 8 and the other side is gonna be a half inch or not a half inch a quarter inch so I have my going to be a quarter inch and it's going to be a flex so I got this from Harbor Freight this thing actually I've never used before until now so I'm, it's one of those things you never use until you need it so this is great because it gives me just enough clearance to get on the bolt and then right when I'm on the bolt I can flex it up like this and then just keep ratcheting away until it comes off I have a feeling that this going back in is going to be a nuisance, but that's okay. So I'm not actually going all the way out with it. I'm just going until pretty much the very end because I want to lift it up and have it where um, I lift it all up at the same time so that I don't lose any bolts. So I'm just going to tighten it so that I can get this bolt off because then I can get it off with my finger. I'm sure I just wanted to get it loose. So now it is off. just have to orientate it so I can get it out of the little hole okay cool it is out so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, take these other bolts off as well this one on and loosen this one out I remember I had a washer on this. Oh yeah, I did. I got a crush washer because these all have crush washers on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift this out. All right, cool. So that is out. Perfect. So we have this out and we have this plate. Awesome. So this plate is gonna come out too. So I kind of messed up and I'm realizing it now that I didn't actually show you the shifts um, of how long they were and i'm kind of kicking myself now for it let me show you the throws and it is super super long so i apologize for that but i definitely wanted to show you the comparison between the two the only thing is is that i couldn't actually get around to it so i'm sorry about that but i'm promising you take my word for it if you guys trust me that it was really long when she tickles your neck mm. Anyone tells you you can never use too much brake cleaner, they're probably right. But I really don't care. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off too, just because. Years of grime. I don't think anyone's touched this car in years and years and years. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this off. I'm gonna put a little bit more cleaner on this. You take care of things, they take care of you. And I definitely want this shifter to be nice and notchy. Got that off. And so what I'm gonna do now is this cup needs to go inside here. 
there's two points in there I need to have this resting underneath it so we're gonna go ahead and put it in I need to make sure that they're yep in the pocket there we go flip it in oh, it is in there now I'm gonna go ahead grease this up alright guys so the half moon gets installed just like so so it gets installed like that and then you want to put this cover over it and have it where it slides right over top and then we do have three um, screws that allen wrenches that we want to put in and these ones you want to lock tight these ones you don't want to lock tight you don't want to lock tight those but you want to lock tight the other screws because you do not want this to be shifting at all you want it to be nice and tight in there and record loctite does the job perfectly so 215 215 cool that ain't moving at all and so that's going to be fine for me the beauty about these cups is that once you stretch them ish enough usually they just not fold over but they pretty much just uh go in easily so. all right guys so i did figure it out um it goes gasket down and then this on top of this so the gas is going to be going down underneath here so we're going to go ahead into the car and uh, try to see if we can install this so Come with me and let's uh, get this out. We're back in and uh, we're gonna put this in. We're gonna put it in sideways, as they say to do, because it's a really tight fit. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in sideways if we can. Okay, and then this front part goes in the front, so it goes like so. So you want to put that in sideways as well, and twist that. They do say that um, getting this in, it's a really tight fit. It looks like extremely tight fit. The solenoid doesn't even seem to, it looks to line up to it. So you might have to um, modify it just slightly. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is line this up to the hole. What people normally do is they'll cut it out with a metal cutter, but I don't think I have one of those on hand with me. So we're gonna just do this. Actually, I know exactly how I'm gonna approach this. I'm gonna lock onto these right here and just basically go back and forth until I have enough clearance. This clamp on, and just like that. We'll pull this up. Just slightly, so we'll be able to get back into it. Alright guys, so we are back. What actually had to happen was I had to modify this quite a lot. Pull this all up so that I could get to these screws which are still becoming a pain in the butt. But it's okay because all I'm going to do is I'm just going to hammer it back in. And it's not going to look pretty but I'm not going to see it so it's not going to be terrible. But um, I will say that these screws are a pain in the butt to get in. Just because they're so long, um, they have to feed down into the. Uh, they have to feed down from this spacer that's down here, it into this into the gasket and um, so on and so forth. So it is um, one of the one of the hardest um, things to do because 
you have to basically slide them in and then you have to cut around here, which I couldn't, so I just used a vise and I was pulling it back and then I'm just gonna hammer it back down to make it not look pretty, but look manageable. I'll see, um, can you at least get a 12, like manufacture a 12 and like actually have it so it fits? Cause I mean, this thing is, I, I can't wait to use this. I'm extremely happy about getting this for the car. Um, I just, I would like to have something that is made for this because see this, not it's not even a fit anymore. So like this lip is not even an issue to me. It's fine. Like I'm just gonna push it back down. A lot of other people though might not like it because of how, the extents of modifications that you have to do to, you know, your truck to be able to make this fit. But I'm okay with it. It's not a huge deal for me. I'm fine with it, but other people might not be so happy about that, um, which is, is why people might be deterred from buying this short shifter, but I think the short shifter, if it claims to do what it's going to do, which we'll find out, out here in a minute, if it is or if it isn't, but I think a short shifter is exactly what you need. It doesn't have to look pretty. My truck does not, isn't to look pretty. It's to function, it's to uh, do what I got it to do, which is to um, be able to drive it as a daily, hold all my um, tools, and get me to wherever I need to be, whenever I need to be there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. I'm really excited to see how this short shifter actually acts because this is the first actual modification I have done to this vehicle. What's up guys, this is a few days later after this whole install happened and uh, I kind of wanted to give you like an honest review of how everything went. Thoughts though, I love it. Um, the short shifter is amazing. It feels super good. It feels almost a little too good because banging through the gears, not that I'm going fast or anything, you get it a lot more out of that 3VZ than you'd think. And actually today I had to up the throttle cable so that um, my idle would be a little higher um, just because it wasn't getting enough air in. So I uh, messed with the uh, idle positioning cable so that I'd get a little more air going through it. So hopefully that helped. Going back to the whole thing of the short shifter, I like it a lot. The shifts aren't very smooth, but they're notchy. So when you get into a gear, you'll feel it get in, but it does kind of take a while to get in. Um, obviously rev matching and making sure that, you know, the synchros line up so that the um, actual shifter can get into the gear that it needs to be. Um, <clears throat> sorry if it sounds like I'm losing my voice. See you just later video coming this week, but definitely last time I always said that but getting back to it it does take a little bit of getting used to and I've been trying to get used to it uh, ever since I installed it the cons there's kind of not a lot but there's like three or four of them that I have so first off LCE does not include a wrench so that you can actually tighten the bolts down which I had to end up um, cutting a lot of my transmission tunnel to get the bolts in. You could flare it up, but the thing is the um, transmission relief valve, it actually didn't fit. So I had to push up the, uh, the metal a little bit. Thank God the metal was really thin metal, but still had to do that. Second off, um, so this is kind of my fault it wasn't lc's fault at all but i put the loctite on the bolts like i showed you and i put it in what happened when i did that was that it actually didn't go all the way in so i had to use i had to use three torque bits or torque bits i had to use three of them just to and i stripped two of them trying to like tighten it up and then i finally went and got a actual allen key and tightened it which twisted the allen key because the lock was so strong, but it does not move at the same time. Like it's kind of a bad thing and a good thing. The reason why is because now that that cup that installed, I had to push those screws in harder 
So it didn't bend the, uh, the cup or anything, but pulling it out is next to impossible unless you're really trying to pull that out, which leads me to my next kind of negative is that that little um, uh, clip that you saw me take off and uninstall that had um, that has a spring underneath it. I tried everything. I tried um, a, a pry bar. I tried uh, pliers, like le long needle nose pliers and needle nose right angle pliers to get that thing on because you have to get it all the way down and you have to twist it. That thing did not want to go on and I ended up not putting it back on because the tension uh, of the shifter was so like in there because of the three bolts that I didn't put on properly it, It's not gonna slip out which I mean, I don't know why you would be pulling up on your shifter to shift So that actually kind of helps me out because it's not gonna go anywhere um, So when you install this make sure that you are doing everything very slowly and on the rush The night I did it, I don't know I just wanted the shifter to be on because I was tired of the long shifts which short shifts I'm very happy for like extremely happy for if I was to do it all again though I would take off the extension get another extension and actually put in the bolts and then put the Loctite around the outside so a little bit of you know learning curve going on there but other than that installing it back was kind of an issue but I didn't take my four wheel drive uh, shifter out because I just didn't want to um, I cleaned it up though just so it looked nicer I cleaned the plate up as you saw in the video too but the LCE makes great products I just wish that they had a little bit more in the pack like in the actual packaging like at least a, tw a right angle 12 millimeters so you could get to those bolts as well as like a clipper so you could like or a grinder so you could grind around but then that'd be the whole product would be at least 300 if you did that because then the dremel or whatever they'd provide or whatever cut they provide they would you know raise the price on that obviously but other than that i love the shifter the shifter for what it does is amazing it completely changes the driving that car it's so nice and the shifts are very quick like i said I'm not racing everywhere, but it feels like I am just because I'm in fourth gear in a few seconds rather than being the one, two, three, four. It's one, two, three, four. And I'm being very serious about that. So if you guys do want to, I'll put the description down below so you guys can check it out. Uh, LC does a lot of other Toyota. The 22RE is actually the motor that I do most of the work on or most of the upgrades on. I think they do turbo and uh, turbo manifolds and all that kind of stuff. They even have a turbo kit for the 22RE. The 3BZ though, not that much because the 5BZ E is the motor that everyone goes with. Anyways though, uh, that's the only mod I'm really gonna be doing uh, for right now. I might be doing some appearance things like a rack and everything like that. But other than that, the engine's gonna stay stock cause I'm gonna pull the engine out and put a 5BZ in anyways. That's going to be coming soon. Um, I'm actually going to be trying to save up to get my next car since the foreigner works perfectly. Now, I do need to do something with the starter. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this install video. I know it was kind of um, hit or miss because I had half of it filmed, half of it I didn't do because I was just so irritated to the point where I was like, I'm not going to make a good video of this. Um, and I need to start working on getting better at that where I make good quality videos from start to end. So I'm going to work on that, guys. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you guys want to. I'm going to be making more videos about my lace company, about my cars, and about just motors in general. I love working on cars. I love skating, all that kind of stuff. Snowboard and snowboard season is actually about to start here in Vegas. Yeah, I know, Vegas snowboarding, it's kind of weird. But I will be doing that soon. So I will be doing some unboxing videos of all the gear that I'm gonna have for this season. And I'll show you guys what I'm writing for 2019 as well. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment down below, whatever you guys want. Questions, um, what you think about the short shifter on a truck uh, transmission and you know anything that's related put it down below, I'll read it, I'll respond to it, and you guys have a good rest of your night. Always stay positive guys, and stay true to who you are. Shoots.